Japan is one of the truly wealthy nations of the world. It's one of the truly cultured nations of the world. It has come an unbelievable distance in the past 150 years, beginning as a feudal country and being perhaps the world's first postmodern society. However, along with that comes a real hunger for something more. It's been on Dr. Jensen's heart for a while to do a mission trip to Japan. And when Dr. Patty heard about it, he thought it would be an exciting opportunity to make it musical and to use Christmas um, as a means to uh, share the gospel of Christ. Uh, I'm in charge of the music for this, for this trip, and I've been really enjoying picking wonderful pieces of music and assembling a really good quality team. The group is a fresh kind of collaboration of just a few individuals that we wanted to go together to Japan and, and do some missionary work or do some outreach and ministry. We'll be traveling from December the 9th to December the 24th, Christmas Eve, all across Japan. We'll be presenting concerts that display the excellence in American cultural music, mainly Christmas music. Um, lots of classical music also um, from several prominent up-and-coming American composers. This group is set up in a very peculiar way. Having five singers and a string quartet with a piano player, we can do a lot of different kinds of music. We're not a huge group, but we're big enough to where we can still do some more complicated pieces and be able to do it effectively. And so we're excited to be able to do some things that are contemporary uh, classical music, some works by Frank LaRocca, uh, another by Gaspar Gareb from Slovenia. We do have some things for a cappella voices, we have some things for the string quartet, and of course we bring those forces together. Um, some of the music has been specifically arranged for our group by the composers themselves, and it'll be a lot of fun. I think our program is very um, has a lot of variety. The program has a lot of variety in it. So whether whether or not the audience is astute classical um, purists or, or they just want to see a great concert, they're going to have the, both varieties. And The caliber of this ensemble is just really astounding. It's actually very exciting to be a part of this group because the chemistry of the group is really fun. We have a good time, but we also get a lot done. I think our personalities really meld well together. We know when we need to work and we know when we can have a little bit of a Love. It's been interesting to see like the metamorphosis of the group because several people at the beginning had to back out because of lack of funds. But I believe that the people who are supposed to be here are here. So we can laugh around and we can um, enjoy each other's company, but at the end of the day, the music is what is really important. Dr. Patty is a huge inspiration to me. He's an excellent, excellent teacher. And he has bent over backwards to make this trip happen and he is extremely passionate about everything that he does and extremely dedicated and you can see that in every step he takes. He's had that gentle presence that just brought everybody together in a way that just good leaders do. From the very start we've known that this is not something that we can accomplish on our own and um, and we know that God is going to bring people alongside to make this happen. This trip is very very expensive. Japan is a very long way away. We are raising money here through fundraisers, visiting different churches, asking for offerings. Um, we've sent out fundraising letters. Uh, because I lived in Japan for a couple of years, because I know a number of people there and have connections, uh, we're able to make the trip to Japan just about as cheaply as possible. Uh, we had a um, good airfare and um, we'll be getting rail passes. Uh, I have a number of homestays lined up for the students. Uh, there'll be some church floors to sleep on, but still, Japan is very expensive. The church is is called to help one another, and, and, and really every church knows that. But at the same time, every person of every church doesn't have the opportunity to go across seas and to, to be the hands and feet, if you will, of, of God. And, and this is really the, the opportunity that the church gets to, to be involved with missions that they can't themselves do. We're talking about raising $2,400 a person. Uh, if if the dollar stays where it is. The trip um, for me personally is a is kind of a, a big burden because I'm an international student and I'm also having to raise funds in a different currency which is which makes me have to raise more. Since we started uh, in March or April planning this trip the dollar has gone down about 20 percent against the yen so it makes it more and more difficult to uh, meet the budget that way. God's work done in God's way will never ever lack for God's provision. And I truly believe that this trip is ordained by God. You know, if you look at the amount that we need, it might seem like a lot, but 
what the people of Japan, what we're all going to get out of this experience is worth so much more than that. Um, the impact we're going to make, the change in our lives, the people that we're going to touch around us, you can't put a price tag on that. I believe God can use this thing we call music as a powerful vehicle to transport this message in a different form that can transcend this handicap that we humans have. It's called language. The language of music itself, I think, touches the emotions, touches the heart, as well as the head. Music communicates. Music unlocks our emotions, our, our hearts, our spirits. We come alive in a special way when we're interacting with music. Something that's innate in humankind is, is a smile. Like, no matter what culture you're in, a smile is a smile. Um, and, and so, like, the same way I believe is the music. You have music that just, if it's sad, people understand it's sad. If it's, if it's exciting, people understand it's exciting. And Even though we don't speak Japanese, um, I really feel like we have our hearts invested in this. We have a lot of emotional investment in this. And I feel like the people of Japan will be able to hear that. We have so much joy and we have a lot of hard work. And I feel like the musicality of it, but not just that, the emotion driven behind it, it's gonna shine through. I believe that God gave us music as a vehicle to communicate with one another. Uh, the Japanese word for it is ongaku, and it means sound of pleasure. And so we enjoy God through music somehow. We've been working for this, to be able to use music to communicate to a culture that, that is receptive to music. You know, as far as these Christmas carols, I mean, these people, the Japanese people have heard these, and there's going to be that immediate connection. And so it's very exciting then to be able to use that as a bridge to connect this idea of Christmas, the meaning of Christmas, the spirit of giving, and also Jesus being born, um, God becoming a man into this world. You know, this is what we do. We play music and we perform, and now we're going to get to perform for Him, for His glory. So it's just really exciting. When you take a medical mission trip, for instance, there is a physical need being met, a tangible physical need being met that is the vehicle for the gospel. This trip is completely different in that music is not a tangible physical need. It is a intangible emotional need and hopefully it will awaken the people who hear our music. Now, there are a number of churches in Japan that uh, are starting to grow now. I believe that it's on the verge of a kind of awakening and uh, in whatever little way we can, we want to be used by the Lord as part of that awakening. Music is the only tool that I know of that has that awakening power. And if it can just open that door just a crack and the gospel can just shine the light of Jesus into their life just that little bit, 